All right, so let's get into making this target. Um, I start off in InDesign. Uh, that is a graphics layout program from Adobe. And I know a lot of people are not gonna have this program, uh, but I just wanted to show you how I'm making it. I start off with a black background. You could easily make it a brown background or a green background, whatever you're used to shooting, whether it's grass or dirt or whatever. I just use the black. It gives good contrast, white targets. I make them the size that they are uh, supposed to be. This is 1.15, this is one, this is 0 0.6, this is point, let's see, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and 0.2. And um, here you go. So there's a couple over here as well. These are 0.75. All right, so I will now show you how I come up with those sizes. Um, I am going to mostly be doing, um, I believe, yeah, I believe I'm doing these two, which is uh, the tank trap size. And let's see, so yeah, 1.15 is what I have. So let's get into it. First, we gotta find out what size they can be. So, um, just to look at this, this is, I just basically use a ratio. So, two inch at 65 yards is whatever the target size should be at whatever your distance is. My backyard, I can do 33 yards in it. So, uh, I have my entire uh, prop uh, selection set up at 33 yards. Uh, so I can go from there and so I put in 33 the next step in doing this which is basic algebra is you cross multiply 2 times 33 65t so it ends up with 65 equals 65 times t 66 equals 65 times t you divide it both by 65 to separate it out those cancel t equals 66 over 65 which is 1.015 um 1.015 i actually made my 1.15 and that must have just been a typo so um these should have been 1.015 so actually be a little smaller and then uh just to show you another another thing to do uh, this is the uh, 45 yard, um, one inch at 45 yards. Um, just a just a random number because I think the uh, KYL was actually 42 yards in this one. But same thing, you put one inch there, you put 45 there, and you put your distance, your target, you do your math, cancel everything out, ends up 33 divided by 45, 0.733 or 0.75. Uh, yeah, that's close enough that you could put 0.75 on there and be fine. And um, so that's how you find your sizes of your targets. And then I make my targets that size in this program. Usually I just do it by clicking here and uh, I can type, you know, 1.015, 1.015 and make sure that it's actually white. And there's my target size. So that's really what I shouldn't have shooting at. I maybe was shooting at a little bigger than I had to. So um, there's my my two different sizes, and I can make something like this, uh, whatever size I need it to be. Uh, and then I also put hangers on the KYL just to have it. So um, that's what I'm used to looking at. So what happens if you don't have um, if you don't have that? program which oops, most people do not all right so this is where you get your information two inches 65 three inches 85 or whatever five that's where i was getting that from and ended up being uh, uh 0 0.75 and so i use i went out and looked and i could find uh, this program called google slides this is the free version free Google version of PowerPoint or um, uh, I can't 
can't remember the name of the Mac one. Um, but it's uh, basically PowerPoint. So you come in here, this is your brand new, um, your brand new one. So first thing I would do is come in here and go to a page setup and change your size to custom. And you want it to be 11 wide and eight and a half. Why that size? Because that's the size of a piece of paper, at least in the United States. So there's your paper. And then let's see, we have our formatting options on. And let's see. There we go. If you go to slide, you go to change background and you can change. There we go. Now we have we have black. And then you can see the different shapes here. So if I want a round shape, I just click over to that. I do have to have, oops, I do have to have my, um, here we go. Drawing shapes like this, a circle or a square in which the sides are supposed to be the side, same, you'll get an oval one way or another. If you hold down shift, it keeps it keeps it the same size. So right now I know I have it as um, just a circle. I'm gonna put format options back on. Size is over here. So right now I just drew it and it was 1.69. So if I want it 1.015, it's gonna round. 1.02. And if you click lock aspect ratio, it'll keep those the same. And there is the size parent, so it's just a white circle. So now I have one of those. Uh, if you hold down Option on a Mac, and uh, I believe um, Control on a PC, I haven't used a PC in a long time, um, you can copy these, and you can make more than one of them. Um, and then you can them five. You see it changed both of them because I have lock aspect ratio on we're good to go there's another size and then i can bring this one down this is supposed to be uh 0.8 and then i'm going to make another one here that is 0 0.6 and 0.4 and lastly 0 0.2 and then I'm going to come back up here to shapes. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to draw a little rectangle. I don't care how long it is. But width, that's pretty close. So I want it to be 0.2. And go back up here again to my border color transparent. There we go. And then I'm just going to, that red line means it's centered, I believe. So I'm just going to put some more of these on here. And you can see if you go all the way up to the top there. There you go. So then you have a KYL rack. So um, you can also put some text on it. You can label, hey, hey, this is where the tires are. Um, that's background. Change it to white. And yeah, it should be. Oh, that's changing the. So you could label things very easily. Um, but that's basically how I make it. And I'll make a new one of these every time for my backyard. I think the DFAT ones that they provide, if you are using the indoor uh, dry firing system, which I also have, it's great. Um, I just don't have room enough to bring all my props in to my office where I have it set up. Um, so sometimes I'll bring just a sawhorse in or something and I'll just practice on it. Um, so this is another way to just do it yourself. If you have your own custom, uh, distance that you want to figure out. So I hope that helps everybody and, uh, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Thanks.